Are you looking for a creative wow card? Look no further than today's simple twist card. You're gonna love creating these cards and they are so easy. Let me show you how. Welcome to today's Tuesday tip video. I'm Connie Stewart with simplysimplestamping.com. I am so excited to teach you this fun little twist card. So let's go get started. We're going to start with this card here and it features the Meandering Meadow designer series paper. Do you love how the image kind of flows right across? And of course, the creative part of this card is how it gives a twist and it also kind of has the opportunity to stand up as well. All right, let's go over the supplies you need for the card. My card base is in Blackberry Bliss four and a quarter by 11 inches. You're going to need two pieces of wild wheat four by four. This one here is a four by five and a quarter. Pebbled path looks so pretty with that. This is a three and five eighths by three and five eighths. And then I have two pieces that are one by four. My message will be written here on a piece of very vanilla three and three quarters by five. And of course, that fabulous Meandering Meadow Designer Series paper. Now, of course, I did a little cutting on this and uh, I think you can kind of see where we did our cutting and I have two pieces here. Uh, this one is a three and a half by three and a half. This is a seven eighths by three and seven eighths. Let's go ahead and start to create with our card base. Now, the first thing I want to do is I wanna put the 11 inches of my Blackberry Bliss up at the top, and I'm gonna give that a score at five and a half inches. Now, I'm gonna slide this down to four and a quarter inch, and I'm gonna take my scoring blade, and I'm just gonna give it a little tick mark. I'm just kind of giving it just a little press right there. Now, I can see that, and what I want to do, I'm gonna put the corner right there in the track in that tick mark right there in the track hold that cardstock in place by holding down the arm of your paper trimmer and we're going to give that a score to do your fold we're going to take that corner fold and fold it under and then we're going to bring that five and a half inch score and bring it over so can you see this is where your triangle is going to be with your bone folder, you're going to want to give both those lines a good crease. I'm going to put my adhesive here on the triangle. Now, of course, I'm not getting too close to that edge, but I want you to see that that wild wheat will sit right inside here. And one of my best tips for you is to line up corner with the corner of your fold and corner down there at the bottom. You see that setting it up just right. Now let's take our other piece of wild wheat and that is going to go right here in the center of the inside of the card. Those two one inch by four inch pieces of pebbled path, one's going to go on the outside. The other one will go right here on the inside. And now with that one little piece of designer series paper, that's that little sliver one, let's add that right here to the front of the card. All right, time to do a little stamping. So I'm actually going to stamp my sentiment here on my designer series paper. And of course this piece is for the inside of my card. My sentiments are going to come from perennial postage, but I wanted to add a little something to this. So with that gorgeous paper, I thought the ocean front stamp set was perfect. So we're gonna use this little image here and these little rocks. It's just gonna give us a little something extra there on the inside two ink pads today. I'm going to start with the pebbled path and this is going to be used here on the front of my card. I thought this paper would be so pretty uh, for just a support or sympathy card. So I'm going to say here for you always and then on the inside of the card, remember this card twists so we want to make sure that we have this in portrait mode and I'm going to say I know you will get through this. Now with the ocean front, let me take that little rock. But here's the thing, if I stamp that, that's really dark. I'm gonna stamp off once, I'm gonna stamp off twice, and the third time will go right here in the bottom corner. And now with some mossy meadow, we're going to add some a great little grassy look. Again, this is gonna be a great masculine card. I know masculine cards are something we all struggle with. 
All right, so remember our card's going to twist this way. So let me add my inside of my card. So here's where we're going to write our message. Now I'm going to twist it closed. I'm going to take that stamped designer series paper and we're going to add it to that square of pebbled path. I'm going to come in with stamp and dimensionals. I've removed the backing from my dimensionals and you can see how that will sit right inside there. Can you believe the card can be put together that quickly? That paper really makes a statement. It's kind of the just the focal image and the star of this card. Don't forget to save your free download that goes along with today's video. You'll find that at simplysimplestamping.com or look down in the YouTube description for a direct link to today's post. All right, friends, I've got a second card to share with you. Now, I know Valentine's Day is right around the corner, but I decided to create a card that wasn't Valentine themed with the uh, Be My Valentine stamp set. So this one uses the uh, Be Mine designer series paper, but we're just gonna say sweet as honey and love you. So it does not have to be a Valentine card, but what a great way maybe to send to the grandkids to just tell them how sweet they are. Friends, this card's gonna go together in the exact same way. Now this card actually used two pieces of the designer series paper, so I can add an extra one there. All right, let's do a little stamping. I'm gonna be using the Be My Valentine bundle. So we've got this great little bee uh, punch, and of course we're gonna use the stamp set. So we have this piece of crushed curry. This was the three and five eighths by three and five eighths. I'm gonna bring in my punch, and I'm gonna push that cardstock in as far as it will go, kind of center it up. Let's give that a punch. Don't lose this, we're gonna be using it again, but let's go ahead and stamp our B in some Memento Black ink. This stamp set is a photopolymer stamp, so it makes stamping after you've punched very, very easy to do. All right, we're gonna line that up. Let's stamp our B. And of course our bee needs a little face, so we'll stamp that right there. I have a piece of sweet sorbet cardstock. This is three quarters by about three and a half. And I'm gonna create just a little flag here on the end. So all I did was cut right through the middle and then cut along the sides. And that's gonna give me that little banner. You could also use your banners pick a punch. You know, I'm a huge fan of that punch. Let's have our banner off to the right. I've got a secret to share about this stamp. So it's one long stamp that says, you're as sweet as honey. It was a little too long for me. So you wanna know what I did? I took my scissors and I simply just snipped right in between those two words, boom. Very easy to do with photopolymer stamps, but not to worry if I ever want it back together, you can see I can easily line it up. I just line up my cut mark, but I wanted to use this separately. All right, I'm gonna mount those onto two blocks. Um, I'm actually going to start with the words sweet as honey. We're gonna stamp that down here at the bottom of our sweet sorbet. Now the your as comes right in between. Now before I put this um, on my card, I'm gonna come back in with that punch and see that little heart right there? I need one sweet sorbet heart. So I'm gonna just punch that out of there. For the inside of my card, I'm gonna bring in a little crushed curry and the honeycomb stamp. We'll stamp that over here on the left side. I'm going to say, love you. That's why I said, I think this card would be just great for the grandkids. And now that little buzzy, you know, or I don't know, what do you call this? It's just the buzzy thing. Again, I can see right where I'm stamping and I'm gonna take it right off the word you. A little dot of adhesive, I'll put my heart there. Let's add this to the inside of our card, just like so, all right. Now to add our B and our sentiment. I'm gonna put a little adhesive down here at the bottom of my flag. 
And I know that little heart's probably driving you crazy, isn't it? All right, well, we're just going to add that right here. We're going to be covering it up with our bee, but I struggled. She needs some wings. So I used a little vellum card stock and I just punched out the heart, which by the way, this heart also can be bee wings. Add just a touch of adhesive and we can add that to our bee. Now we're gonna cover up that heart with our bee. There we go. Oh my gosh, do you love the little wings? Isn't it so cute? And there we go. We've got another simple twist card. Friends, these cards are always such a wow. I loved being able to have a really great support card or sympathy card for the men because I think those are so difficult. And of course, we wanna be able to take our Valentine stamp sets and find other ways to use it. And I was able to do that to just say, you're as sweet as honey. Thank you all so much for being here. I hope you liked the video. If you did, a thumbs up on YouTube is always appreciated. And if you haven't subscribed, take a moment to click that subscribe button so YouTube can let you know whenever I'm back with another video. Can't wait to stamp with you guys next time. See you soon. Bye-bye.